For those of you that watch the channel, you know that anytime we talk about technology, I refer to this one over here as a geek, which he is. So in this video, we are gonna to bring to you our five RV tech items that's gonna allow you to geek out your RV. Make sure to stay to the end because we're going to talk to you about a bonus item that all RV pet owners should have. All right, so number one, you have a motorhome or a trailer, whatever it may be, you pull up to your site. One of the first things you have to do once you get parked is level. Now, depending on what kind of setup you have, that could be a real pain. We have auto levelers, but what I will tell you is that the auto levelers kind of almost always overcompensate, meaning they lift and lower more than they really should. So what we do is when we get somewhere, we just manually level. Now we used to do that with a regular just bubble level system, but uh, I found something called the LevelMate Pro and that makes life so much easier. So LevelMate Pro is just a device that you put inside your RV, motorhome, whatever it may be, you calibrate it. And we did a video talking about this that we'll link above. But once it's set up, you pull up your app and it tells you exactly how off each side of your motorhome trailer, whatever it may be, how off it is. For example, my driver's side is has to be raised two inches. It'll tell me that. So I just know driver's side front lifted two inches and it'll tell me exactly when everything is level. We can get out there. MJ can level in a matter of 40 seconds. It is really that easy. Probably something we'll never go without again. So number one, the level made pro. Okay, so if you haven't noticed, the motorhomes under the covers, it may look a little weird, like it's not like we're in a snowstorm. So number two, and we just recently upgraded this, and I've really been wanting to do this for a while. So at home, we have a Nest uh, smart thermostats, but those run on a different type of system. Those are running like on a 110 versus 12 volt system. But there is a company out there called Micro Air. They're out of New Jersey. Their products are made in the USA and we uh, found them at the Tampa RV show and we bought a Micro Air thermostat. Now, why is this so awesome? Because it's a smart thermostat. So as you can see over here, it re just replaces our Dometic thermostat. Now you see they give you two plugs. So our Dometic was actually wider. So there's actually two holes here that have plug, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a picture over that, no big deal. Why is this awesome? Couple things. Number one, it's Bluetooth compatible, so I can connect it to my smartphone. It's also Wi Fi compatible. So, what does that allow us to do? It allows us to not only monitor the temperature inside the motorhome remotely, it also allows us to put it on programs to change the temperature when we're literally could be on the other side of the world. This is a direct replacement for the Dometic thermostat we had. It's literally plug and play. We can control the heat pumps, we can control uh, the furnace, air conditioning, everything. I can do it both touching it manually, as you can see, or, zone. oh, there we go. <laughs> it's on Celsius right now. You can change that to Fahrenheit. Or I could also do it via the app. So I can connect, and if I turn this on, I'm gonna turn on zone two. I can change over here to zone one, and you can see right now I can set it to 72 degrees. I can go cool, auto, heat pump, furnace, whatever it may be, it will start doing that. You can actually, the furnace just kicked on. So super simple to use, really easy to install. Number two is gonna be the Micro Air Smart Thermostat. Number three, no RV will be geeked out if you don't have this. Now, traditionally, RVers like to use satellite TV. We personally hate that. We've had it at home. We don't like it. We haven't had good results. Weather affects it trees affect it, we have chosen to use streaming services. And how we use that is through the Amazon Fire Stick. Now this is just a remote control for the Fire Stick. The Fire Stick is actually a little unit, a uh, HDMI unit that you plug into the back of your TV. You need internet connection on your RV to use this, which we do have. But what does this allow you to do? Well, you stream everything, Sling, Netflix, IPTV, pay-per-view, Anything you want, you can get it through an Amazon Fire Stick. This is truly the wave of the future, everyone. I know people are hung up on the satellite stuff, but I'm telling you, it's going this way. Also, I wanna say one thing. People say, a lot of times people say, well, you don't go camping to watch TV. Why is TV so bad? 
of people to each his own. Some people like to watch TV. We, we all put on the uh, UFC fights mm -hmm. when we have our campfires and stuff. So this is a really great option for us. Well, it's true. A lot of people don't go camping to watch TV, but a lot mm -hmm. of people that get motorhomes are not really camping. They're yeah. RVing and they do have TV. Yeah. So again, streaming is a way of the future. This is what we like. It works great. Number three, the Amazon Fire Stick. All right, number four, again, we've done a video on this also, and MJ just loves this thing. It's really part convenience and really part safety. It's going to be the Ring doorbell. Now, we have this installed. Well, we normally have it installed outside our front door. Right now, it's just charging up. Now, this is the battery-powered one. It's charging up because it's been the off-season. The battery went dead, but the battery usually lasts at least 30 days, and then you just charge it up for a couple of hours, and it's done. But what is a ring doorbell? It is a smart doorbell. So you hit this button, and it will ring. And then there's a camera on here. When somebody rings this doorbell, I get a notification on my cell phone, MJ gets a notification, and you can see live what is going on. Pretty awesome, right? If somebody's outside your door, you can see it. You could also like tap in live so somebody doesn't have to ring. Say you hear something going on outside, you just go up on your app, hit live, and you can see exactly what's going on. Also, if you pay for the Ring service, it will save the video clips up to the cloud. So if something ever happens, if your motorhome or RV is burglarized, it may be captured on the Ring doorbell. Well, one more thing. A lot of people ask us. Yes. Does it stay attached yes, it out does. there? So if you don't take it off during travel, we don't need correct. to. Correct. So if you watch our video, we go step-by-step step how we installed it. But basically, I just installed it with two-sided tape, which again, I've talked about VHB tape being awesome, and silicone. It's been on for over a year. Mm -hmm. It does not move. It's, it's on there. So number four, ring doorbell. All right, number five is going to be an internet setup, and we've talked about our internet setup in other videos, but part of that is going to be a mesh network. Now, we use the Google Pucks, the Google Home mesh network, and that's just going to put out a signal, internet signal throughout our RV, outside our RV. I think everybody in the campground can pick it up because it has a good range. So we actually have two of these at in the RV. We upgraded at home with the newer version. This is actually one from like three years ago, but it works just fine. So number five, Google Mesh system. Okay, so here's our bonus item. And if you are a pet owner, this is probably pretty important to have. Now, we travel with our pets and you know, you leave your motorhome, your RV, it's, it's hooked up at the campground and you're hoping that everything goes accordingly. But as we know, sometimes things happen at campgrounds. You can lose your power. And if you're somewhere in the summertime, the inside of your RV can go from 70 degrees to 100 plus very, very quickly. And we don't need to explain how dangerous that could be for pets that are in your RV. So we had a company reach out to us. They're called Waggle. Now this is, we're being very transparent. They sent us this product to review and it's pretty awesome, right? So it's, it's just a little, well, this is actually in the holder right now. So I'm going to take it out. It is just a little square device. And what this does, it has a temperature and humidity monitor inside. But what's more important, it has a cellular modem inside through the Verizon network. So now you would pay for this item, but let's just explain exactly how it works. As you could see right now, it's saying 43.9 degrees on here. There is a, an app associated with this. You would download that app onto your phone. Now, when this has a cellular connection, it's going to tell you several things. You can set up parameters. So like we have it set up for 39 degrees low, 78 degrees high. Anything in between that this detects, it's fine. But if this is inside the RV and say for whatever reason, the temperature goes above 78 degrees, we will immediately get an email and a text notification every 10 minutes once those parameters are hit. So we know that something is going on. What else is important is that this goes plugged in. It does have a battery on here that will last up to two days. But if you have it plugged in and you lose power, it will send you a message telling you that you've lost power to your RV. So now you know something is really up. They also sell a version that has GPS built in. This one has that. So say for example, you lose power, you have the GPS coordinates. You can go on the app. It will show you exactly where this unit is. You can tell the campground or emergency services or whatever it may be. It will tell you the longitude, latitude exactly on a Google map where this waggle is. Finally, it comes with a mounting plate so you can mount it in. you'll put it adhesive right to the wall and it just sits there like a thermostat pretty awesome item so we have a discount code elrv4 
40. We're gonna put that in the link below also with the link to pick up a waggle. Now with that discount code, you're gonna get 40% off a waggle plus you'll get $40 off the monitoring service for the waggle. Again, you can't put a price on the safety of your pet. There's many different systems out there, but we found that this one has worked out really well. Geek alert. So those are our five items plus our bonus item. If you want to geek out your RV, <laughs> put in the comments below. Let us know what tech items do you have on your RV? Do you think that it's just completely unacceptable that we are teched out? We don't think so because there's some younger RVers coming in in there. And whether you like it or not, you gotta be connected. I mean, we're in a connected world. So for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.